Bill O'Brien has done great things with the Houston Texans, but in the wake of yesterday's meltdown against the Kansas City Chiefs, some of the colonists in Houston calling for O'Brien to go. Look, I mean, Chris, there are plenty of teams out there that would love to get to the round of eight and lose. I mean, it's all relative. I just, I, I know he's got a lot of juice there now. There's no GM. He's fiery. Uh, there was a time where the thought was he wanted to leave Houston, you know, when he was in that battle right. with Rick Smith, that power struggle, and now Bill O'Brien has won it. But, you know, at some point, and, and this is the danger of getting close too often. It's almost like what happened with John Fox in Denver. You, 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 you can't tantalize ownership and the fan base by getting close. It, 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 people get frustrated and people run out of patience, and there may be some thought in Houston that that's starting to happen. Yeah, well, it seems like it, but that's insane. Like, Houston, you got a problem. Like, chill the hell out. I don't know what you're thinking. Never heard that one before. Yeah, well, yeah, you heard it again. I mean, chill out. <laughs> I, he's, one of the, he's one of the better head coaches in all of football. There's, come on. Houston, he got he brought the team to the playoffs with a bunch of quarterbacks where I would go, I, you know, they're borderline third stringers. I mean, well, he did that. It's only a second year with Deshaun Watson. I understand it's Deshaun Watson's third year before we, you know, first year. Yeah, he tore his ACL. Okay, these last two years, they've gone to the playoffs. They made progress this year. They won a playoff game with Deshaun Watson. You know, is it perfect down there? You know, do, do I agree with every personnel decision he's made? No, okay. But, man, he's made them relevant. They're, they're in the NFC t AFC South battle and the champs more years than not. And, you know, his teams are tough, and they play tough. And they just need a few other moves on their roster to help them out. But they're going in the right direction once again, too. They've gotten the offensive line a little solidified. You know, they got a lot of good things there. They need some more players on defense, some more difference makers on, you know, the defensive line, things like that. But uh, I, I think Houston better be careful what they wish for right there. This is one of the better coaches in the game. I wouldn't want, you know, you're, you're playing the what if game. Oh, what if this guy comes here? What if you got next guy that comes in not a damn good coach? Then your team's going to fall off. Billy O is a really good coach. I, I don't agree with that. The argument, I guess, would be with Deshaun Watson there, you could attract an A-list coach from somewhere else, but I, I don't know that I buy it. I just, you know, there is frustration when you get close enough times. Yeah. Fans want more. Ownership wants more. And here's the thing, too. I, th I agree with you. O'Brien should stay, but I think they do need to hire a general manager. I don't like the idea of going forward with O'Brien basically running things and others helping set the table. You need a voice in there to counter O'Brien's personality. And most coaches have big personalities, strong personalities. They want things their way. They, they'll fight and they'll, and they'll argue. And you need someone who can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and face-to-face yeah. -face right. and, and push back when need be in the best interest of the team. And uh, I, I think that it's a mistake to not have a general manager. Well, I, I think he agrees with you, right? I mean, he wanted Nick Casario. We know that. I think he's all for it. Well, Hire him now. His contract's going to expire. Yeah, well, I mean, I, maybe we'll see a move like that here real soon. I, I don't think he's anti-GM or anything like that. I just think he wants a guy that kind of sees eye to eye to the way he wants things done and build a team. I don't think he has any problem with it. I don't know that for sure, but I mean, just all signs point to that. He has worked with a GM, two of them. You know, yeah, it hasn't been perfect. I think the first GM there that, yeah, wasn't maybe doing things the way he would have liked, uh, but uh, I, I think this is a guy that is a good football, a really good football coach. Team is always tough, you know, situationally, usually really good that way too. Yeah, I didn't like the fake punt call yesterday, but okay. I mean, it's, you know, you make mistakes and he had his reasoning. It's not like he's just some idiot who just called it. I mean, he's a smart, well thought out guy. So I hear you with the GM stuff and I think they probably will get somebody there. But uh, I think Billy O is one of the better coaches in football. And he would be one of those guys that, yes, if you fired him, he would get hired immediately. He would buy an opening. I know it's not going to happen this year. All the jobs are filled. But, you know, if a year where jobs were open, somebody's going to get Billy O. He's already proven that he's a worthy head coach. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.